so now let's move on to Hari Waza, ne? Hari. Ne? So once again, Hari 2, you don't have to move the uh, Kensaki out of the center. Ne? So from here, ne, once again, this one starts around Isoku Ito 2. Ne? So make sure you're ready position, one step, one strike position. And then if you remember, right, left, left hand, ne? left hand. One way to do it is the left hand goes like this and going like this, yeah? But if you do this, when you do this, then if the opponent comes, you could be a little bit vulnerable, right? Then that, that's a weakness if you do that way. So when I do this, actually I just from here, from uh, left hand, that's no need to go to the left and the right, but instead just go to the right. You see, this motion, this motion, this, and then go for the left. So in this way, you are not opening up your Kamaya. So that's risky. Okay? But of course, you have to be good at snapping here. Snap, snap. Okay, so it's gonna go look like from here, and then once you go to the isoku ito, okay, All right. Let's start. You... Uh, Ichima Sensei, I have a question. Um, yes. About the four words as uh, you told us just now, I have a question about when to uh, initiate. Um, so, uh, do we initiate the first, like the halai? part of it uh, when we start to move forward or we do it and then uh, we move forward. Because I think uh, my question is centered on like how to make it less noticeable uh, for the opponent and um, also get myself more ready for it. Because sometimes if I do the highlight first, I don't feel the push from the left. Yeah, so this one, uh, you need to kind of practice by yourself you know, many times, okay? Generally speaking, try to do the harai motion when, you know, uh, together with uh, your body moving forward, right? So you don't want to do the harai first and then move forward. Then you want to make them uh, start together, okay? However, if you think more uh, deeply or if you practice by yourself a couple of times, because the high motion is different. Yeah. It, it is going to affect yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, your body motion. For example, osai is the easiest yeah, to yeah. do with moving forward, right? Yeah. Then because you can nearly go like, yeah, so this motion, when you do this osai and this, that's not going to disturb you from moving forward so much. That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. When you do the haraimen, relatively speaking, once you're here, like you start, the same thing. I don't think it's going to disturb. It's going to prevent you from moving forward so much. Make sense? Yes. Harai. Ah, hari, a mm, little bit different. Ne? Hari because you're moving this way. Yeah. So it's a little bit difficult to connect this motion and moving forward. So maybe if you practice by yourself, the timing is a little bit different. You can, I believe, still start moving forward as you do the hari and go. But, but the timing could be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to say is anyway, just practice, practice, you know, first you should try to just do the harai and then go. that's okay. Because if you are doing harai, mo uh, harai motion, something different, then if you're wasting your motion, for example, like you know, you're using this one as a pivot and then like going like this and going like this, but quick, okay? You need to first be able to move it most efficient motion, right? And then so practice that slowly, like one, two, that's okay at the beginning. Then once you get it, once in this case, if you can fix your right hand on the center, 
when you try to increase the speed? No. Then try which timing works best for you. Mm -hmm.